this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, I haven't done any videos for the garden for over a week now. Um, the last update on the garden was just Friday morning when I came in the polish tunnel and me guttering with the peas had fallen. I went away on the Friday. Should have been through till the Sunday but I was in a lot of pain. Um, my right leg, which is not the one that's been operated on, I was getting severe muscle pains in there. Uh, we had to come back, it was that bad. Um, I wasn't able to uh, walk for a few days. Uh, the pain was that severe. When the doctors, he confirmed it was not a uh, deep vein thrombosis, which you can get after uh, an operation. It was just severe muscle pain. He's given me anti-inflammatories and it, it's starting to improve. But basically the garden, I've just been either doing things myself to take it over, or I've asked Lurch to do this, do the other, in particular where the animals are sorted out, because if I can't get to the plants and they die, they die, fair enough, I'll start again. But the animals need looking after every day. So for a couple of days I was telling him what to do, because normally they're my domain, I look after them. Uh, so basically it's been things to take over. Uh, I came out here one day in the week for, well, a couple of times in the week for like half an hour or so and uh, because I've got to keep moving or it, the muscle will seize up and hurt a hell of a lot more than it does at the moment. Uh, as I say, it's getting better so I've spent a little bit longer today and I sort of feel a bit up to making a video now. So that's what I'm doing and um, I'll show you what I have been doing. Right, I'll start off in the poly tunnel. It's much the same um, apart from I've brought, I said I was going to uh, have a rotation system. Some things that were in the greenhouse have come in here and some things that were in here have moved into me um, grow house. So what is the here? Uh, seedlings of I'm not sure what these are kale these at the back are mm, broccoli well broccoli <laughs> and I think that's charred at the back oh no it's beetroot beetroot at the back um, spring onions, they're not doing that much now. There's some tomatoes I had got under my grow lights in the house. I potted up and there's more than I'll actually need. So I, as they're used to the warmth of the house and that, I put them back under the grow lights and um, bought a few. I brought in here. I thought, I'll, I'll risk it. if. If they die, I know it's too cold to bring the others out. And they've been out here a couple of days and they seem to be all right. Uh, the spring onions are sowed a while ago in the trough are just coming through now. Spring onions, I think, are slow. I moved these from the greenhouse to in here. Uh, those three bings are giant sunflowers. Um, Nothing has come from me swift, the um, sweet corn, um, there's some sweet peas there, two varieties and you can tell there's not many germinated in one variety but the other's not too bad. Uh, I've got some chard in there and that's pepper I think I brought in. Well, brought out from inside. Uh, I've got some basil coming through. That's how many, can you see at the back, this drain pipe? 
that's how the peas are doing what I'm going to do is I think put them in the ground just empty it all out next to where I've put my um, raw beans and then I'll um, I'll put them next to where I put my broad beans and if they come up they come up and I'll start again and do a trough of uh, others and not put them on the top so they won't fall but there's a few more things that have come through the rhubarb going great guns might have some of that tonight might not uh, strawberries I bought some strawberry plants and I put them in this hanging container in the polytunnel so I'll have an earlier crop of strawberries than those outside uh, and as you can see I've got flowers on them but strawberries do need pollinating so especially when I'm working in here I'm having the doors open so things can come in but I'm also going to brush them as well to make sure they get pollinated uh, from this angle you can see these are the strawberries I had uh, last year, um, I think that one's died, but there's new fresh green growth on the others, so I will have a strawberry wall after all, but I need some more for the top. Uh, this is a big change in here. This is where I put all my parsnips down here but never grown parsnips before but as I understand it takes a long time for them to germinate anyway so the fact that I'm not seeing anything isn't too bad uh, the peas that are planted out they seem to be going strong um, carrots planted in the middle and nothing as yet my leeks have come through, through really well and they're getting strong might do another one of them in a bit well this week uh, onions and shallots doing fantastic same as these other little ones doing fantastic uh, they're me giant exhibition broad beans the, they'll be in here uh, for a week and a half, two weeks, and then they'll go outside next to me ball beans. This is some Brussels sprouts and broccoli that I uh, potted up. And my radishes could do with thinning out actually, and feed the thinnings to the rabbits. And the lettuce that I grow is cut and come again and um, so I aren't bothering to thin that out but I might do thin them out tonight and instead of giving the rabbits the thinnings eat them myself do a little salad hmm these are the gladioli and dahlias nothing yet because I only put them in the other week those First early potatoes, the experimenting bu little buckets of poo. I've topped them up with soil to the top of the pots and you can see they're doing absolutely fabulous. So potatoes love rabbit poo. Oh, if anyone's wondering, this that I'm growing here is actually fodder for the animals so it takes because it's outdoors and it isn't yet summer it does take a little bit longer uh, last year I did them in the house and it took a week to go from this stage to this stage and it takes about 10 days now 10 11 days so at the moment I am going through one a day one of these containers it's one every other day but the um, chickens have had tricks of corn today because I've given them a good cleaning out and a few other things 
and the rabbits have had treats of uh, dandelion flowers which are good for them so they're having a treat today now uh, in here the rest of my first earlies pendle and javelin they've come in when the height of them is above the pots I'll top the pots off completely and there's the others there's a few things in there sweet corn swift in here seems to have decided to do something but the other sweet corn swift was in here and didn't uh, these are more of the tomatoes that are potted on and they seem to be doing all right actually so in about a week's time when I need more space I'll bring them out now my celery's mmm I watered them this morning and they've just flopped all over the place Hopefully, they might decide to stand back up. We'll see. See what happens with them. But, oh, and I've got some things down there that I sewed um, the other day. It said there will be nothing in there. It's just odd bits that didn't germinate, so I've done some more. Uh, this is basically, I think, catch-up day. Uh, earlier on, I was outside and did a little catch-up, which you've just seen, or about to see. One of the children, I know which it's going to be yet. Um, but uh, a catch-up on the pain I've had, that's why I haven't been able to do much. So... Today I've been able to do a bit more than before, so I spent it outside, seeing as it was such a lovely day. So I, I just wanted to share with you as well my kitchen. This is an old apron of mine, but this will give you an idea. Um, I can blend into the background in my kitchen while I'm wearing this. Um, we've been um, in so much pain this week. Leach wanted to help cheer me up. So he's painting my kitchen. I chose the paint colour, so I can't blame him for that. My kitchen has now been tangoed. So I'll show you what that looks like. Right, uh, try to get this thing shot because it's only a small kitchen, small house, small garden. But this is the Welsh dresser that you've seen on other videos, and that. And look behind it, tangoed. Mmm, it's tangoed. It does show the new cuckoo hold off nicely because it's black and obviously you've seen the cuckoo this week but one thing that will help with these videos is I've got some bread there I'll go through that with you in a minute so you can see the difference and Cuckoo Hood's got a light, so it should help with me videos as well. And as you can see, there it is with the light. The, this cupboard was over by my fridge freezer, and so I thought, I'll put it there. I've uh, got my oils and spices and everything and herbs on it. And utensils. Um, let's see. It's been tangoed. There's my fridge freezer. This is where the shelving was before. It's now moved. 
but I got a tangled kitchen. <laughs> It's a pearl.